I've been thinking about a teaching that is in virtually all faith traditions, all philosophies around the world. And it shows up in different ways. It's said in different ways. The simplest way to say, say it is, look within. I'm sure, we've all heard that one way or another. Jesus' way of saying it was, the kingdom of heaven is within you. The kingdom of he heaven is within you. But how do you look within? <laughs> what does that actually mean? What is the significance of it? And are we really not supposed to be looking without? I rather like looking without. It is interesting to contemplate what that means. I think it has to do with something like this, in my understanding of it. It's being centered and listening to the pulse of spirit within oneself so, so that you're not underestimating the answers for the world in which you live and for yourself that come from within yourself, that are there latent, awaiting expression. So there's, there are insights in there which if you access them and give them expression and allow them to illuminate your mind, lets you know what to do. And when it does seem like you're being criticized or the world is against you or whatever it is, within you is a love that overcomes all that and allows you to be in all that and to change it and bring something else a transformative influence, love. So that's what the, on the plus side of the ledger, look within yourself for what the answer is, not just so you can gaze at it, but so that you can access it and allow it to express through yourself. The other side of that is don't go looking for the answer First, from outside yourself. It's not that the things outside ourselves are, are not part of a creative world, but if you go looking for answers there without accessing what's within, that's where the issue is. And I think we see that all over the place in our culture. I've been talking about artificial intelligence. Don't Go looking for the answers in artificial intelligence if you haven't first accessed your own intelligence, the higher intelligence within you. <clears throat> there, I have a long list in our culture of things that to me are evidence that people are looking for something outside themselves. Botox. That's on the list. <laughs> Botox is on the list. Or all the other things that people do to their faces. Oh my God. It's like, please, just, I understand we're all growing old here. But grow old gracefully. Grow, grow old gracefully. And access something within yourself that is the grace of aging. We, we could go on. <clears throat> aren't drugs are that right <clears throat> not that we'd never take any kind of drug but don't go looking for an answer to whatever anxiety whatever stress you feel even whatever desire you have don't go looking for the answer outside yourself without accessing the answer to all that within yourself Anyway, I won't go through my entire list. You might have yours as well. Just your observation of how in our culture, people are looking for something outside themselves without accessing the wonder, the wisdom, the love, even the presence within themselves. <clears throat> 